Okay, well, we are back here at RCTV's main stage covering the Reading Falls Street Fair, and we have with us today Steve Grossman, who is running for the governor of the Commonwealth. Welcome today, Steve. I'm thrilled to be here. I was uh, over at a dinner, the annual dinner of the Reading Democratic Committee on Friday night, and uh -huh. I heard about this, and I, I've been here before, but not for a couple of years, and I said, I've got to be here, and I've got the most beautiful day of the year so <laughs> far, so it's a... It's, uh, it's a wonderful experience. I'm seeing a lot of old friends and seeing a lot of new friends, and it's been a wonderful day. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you so much for stopping by thank you. to talk with us. Um, do you have a uh, favorite booth at the fair that you've seen? Well, I actually was interested. I was down at the Hitching Post, which mm -hmm. I just moved and had its grand mm -hmm. opening uh, just yesterday. Just, just yesterday, yeah. And it's a beautiful store and a number of other places. I, I've been sort of eating my way through Massachusetts today. <laughs> I started off oh, yeah. at the dedication of a new Hindu temple okay. in Sharon this morning, and they gave me a lot of Indian pastries. And then, of course, I went over to the Victorian Fair in Melrose, and they right. gave me a bag of kettle corn about this big. <laughs> but before I leave Reading, I promise you I will be taking some delicacies with me in the car because i got to keep my colleagues in the car <laughs> well-fed. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're glad you've uh, been able to come to the street fair today. And the question I always like to ask people who are running for high office, right. um, given the amount of uh, scrutiny that comes at the governor's office and that type of thing, why do you want to be governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? I think scrutiny is a good thing. <laughs> Frankly, when I was running for state treasurer, and I am uh, mm -hmm. the state's treasurer for the right. past four years, I said, I'm going to put the state's checkbook online. People said, never going to happen. I said, no, we need to do that. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the taxpayers spend $24 billion a year in taxes, mm -hmm. and they're entitled to know how every dime is being spent. By the way, if any of your uh, viewers want to see it in live and in color, mass.gov slash open checkbook, and they can see how it's all spent. All right. So I think transparency and accountability is important, and I think we have to be expecting scrutiny of every decision we make. If you're spending taxpayers' money wisely, mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're elected to do. And I think citizens have a right to expect that out of every elected officer, whether it's uh, town council, whether it's school committee, or whether it's governor of Massachusetts. Absolutely. Um, so I know that uh, running for office comes with a lot of challenges. Uh, what would you say is your favorite part of the political race? eating ice cream at every home <laughs> made ice cream shop in Massachusetts. I think we did 71 ice cream shops when I ran for treasure. We'll easily outdistance that. But I add into that onion rings and corned beef hash and <laughs> fried dough and all the great things that the you get at a street fair. Exactly, yes, yes. exactly. But seriously, my life and my career has been all about job creation. I ran a fourth generation business, 104 year old family business mm -hmm. over in Somerville called Grossman Marketing for many, many years. Matter of fact, I just bumped into a former colleague a woman named Kristen Cavoli, who works for a health software company. She worked for us for a while. Yeah. And uh, so it's wonderful to reconnect with old friends and colleagues. But I was a job creator. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. When I became state treasurer, I said, let's bring money back from overseas. Let's put it into local banks. Let's put it into local banks that are going to lend money to small businesses owned by women, people of color, immigrants, veterans, all small businesses, because small businesses are the job creators. And so this is going to be a tough election. I hope yeah. to be the nominee of the Democratic Party come Tuesday night because Charlie Baker will be a tough candidate to defeat. Sure. He'll talk about his job creation. He'll talk about how he knows how to run government. But I think it's fair to say that I have reformed almost every part of state government that I'm responsible for as treasurer. I've kept every promise I made. I was honored to receive the endorsement of the Boston Globe. They said the next governor will make decisions that will affect the economic destiny of Massachusetts. That's a big deal. Yeah. And the best social program ever created was what? A job. Yeah. And I'm a jobs creator, and that's really what I'm running on. My record of leadership in creating jobs in the private sector, lifting people up, and making sure that we have universal pre-K for every one of our 24,000, 25,000, uh, three- and four-year-olds who lack it right now. Mm. That's the kind of investment we need to make in full-day kindergarten and in full-day uh, universal pre-K. Well, I've heard that uh, Massachusetts per capita eats more ice cream than any other state <laughs> in the country, so I'm glad you're keeping your end I up on that. I was told that. I <laughs> actually spoke to the New England Ice Cream Restaurant okay. Association. <laughs> it, was my, it was my most fun gig of all. They had ice cream shops represented all over the place, yeah. and I had... And I learned that, so sure. I, I'm fully subscriber of that belief. Well, I know uh, you know uh, one of the most important uh, jobs of the governor mm -hmm. beyond uh, uh, working on their own programs, of course, is, is to work with the legislature right. to get that done. Uh, can you maybe uh, share with us a little bit about your experience in working
working with the legislature and how you intend to work with the legislature if you become governor. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, governors can have great ideas, but unless they are being, uh, they're able to work in a collegial, collaborative way with legislators, uh, they can't get anything done. You could have the best ideas, reform transportation, create jobs, invest in public education, but if you can't get the legislature to buy into that program and to be your partners, I'm a big believer in sharing credit. When mm -hmm. you share credit, great things happen. So I'm proud to have the endorsement of your State Senator uh, Jason Lewis and a lot of other legislators from this area. We've done interesting things over the past four years, created a financial literacy trust fund to bring financial education. I don't believe that any high school student should ever graduate again without some basic financial literacy. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to all be paid for by government. It's got to be paid for by the business community and the private sector. So I'm going to challenge the business community to be an investor along with me, to get the legislature involved in that. When we break down silos and work in a collaborative way, that's when you get things done. What people want out of their governor? Common sense solutions that improve the quality of people's lives. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming to the Reading Street Fair, well, thank first you. of all, today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm grateful for the chance to be here. and. Uh, and we will have a wonderful election this Tuesday. Yep. I hope to be the nominee. I hope people will consider voting for me on Tuesday, September 9th, in All the right. Democratic primary for governor. Well, thank you, and, uh, and good luck in the primary on Tuesday. Good luck in the general election in November. Thank if, you if very we get much. There. And, uh, Thanks for having me. Hope you, you. hope you have a great rest of the day today. Thank you, Steve. We've been I talking it. with uh, Steve Grossman, who is the candidate for governor here in Massachusetts. We are headed now out to Kate, who is talking with uh, members of the Colonial.